Don't Breathe. Three Detroit friends, Rocky, Jane Levy, Alex, Dylan Minette, and Money, Daniel Zavato, break into the home of wealthy owners. After Alex disables the security system, they begin to grab the nicest looking items they can get their hands on. When they're done, they throw a rock through the plate glass door and run. Rocky lives with her little sister Diddy, Emma Berkovici, and their abusive mother Ginger, Keisha Boker, and her boyfriend Trevor, Sergio Janopko. Rocky promises to Diddy that she will get both of them out of there so they can start a new life in California. Money gets a tip from one of his connects about a man living in a house with more than $30k stashed somewhere. It's been said that the man is a war veteran and that he lives alone after his daughter was killed in a car accident. Rocky is on board since this could be the last robbery they ever have to pull off, but Alex doesn't agree with the plan. He later relents when Rocky begs him, as he has a crush on her, even though she's with money. The three stalk the man's, Stephen Lang, house and learn that he is blind. Alex thinks it's messed up to rob a blind guy, but money says it doesn't mean he's a saint if he's blind. The man's rabid dog then jumps on the car door and frightens the friends. That night, the three initiate the robbery. Alex spots a tattoo on Rocky's wrist that's new, which is of a ladybug. She explains that as a child, her father left her family and her mother blamed Rocky for it. She would cry and then get locked in the trunk. One time, a ladybug flew into the trunk and kept her company. She says she'll have it colored in California and then never mark her body again. The friends head toward the man's house. Money drugs the dog to get him to knock out, allowing them a safe entry into the house. Rocky goes in first and disables the security system. While her friends wait for her, Money taunts Alex for his crush on Rocky. She returns and opens the door. Money goes upstairs and finds the blind man sleeping with the TV on. The blind man rises and hears a noise. He just turns the TV off and goes back to sleep. Money gasses the room to ensure that the man won't hear anything. The three find a locked door that leads to the basement. They think this is where they'll find the man's stash. Money starts to break down the door, leading the blind man to go downstairs. Money starts talking and says he doesn't want trouble until he decides to pull a gun out on the man. The blind man takes a few steps forward as Money holds the gun in his face. As he slowly gets closer, the man grabs the gun from Money's hand and pins him against the wall. The blind man asks Money how many of them there are in the house. Money says it's just him and he pleads for the man to let him go. The blind man loosens his grip but then shoots Money in the neck and through the head. He drops Money's body to the floor and Rocky hides in the closet. The man enters and opens a safe containing his money. Rocky sees the code as he leaves. Alex goes to find Rocky after the blind man starts locking up all the doors and windows. They decide that they just have to sneak in through the basement and out the cellar door that leads outside. First, Rocky opens the safe and puts all the money in her bag. They head toward the basement, but the man emerges from there. The two keep quiet as he holds Money's gun. Someone's phone goes off and he fires a quick shot. Rocky and Alex then head downstairs as the man drags Money's body outside. In the basement, Rocky is startled by a woman, Francisca Torosik, who's been chained up to the wall. Rocky and Alex are freaked out and almost leave her until the woman holds up a newspaper article. It reveals that her name is Cindy and that she's the woman who accidentally killed the blind man's daughter, but she was acquitted. Rocky and Alex free her and carry her toward the cellar door. Unfortunately, the blind man is there when they open it. He fires the gun and strikes Cindy in the face, killing her. Rocky and Alex hide and the man finds out he shot Cindy. He cries over her body and yells in rage. Alex picks up the man's keys and decides to try and make it back to the front door. As he and Rocky head back upstairs, the blind man turns off the lights in the basement, leaving them all in total darkness. Rocky and Alex feel around for each other as the man shoots the gun. Rocky almost touches the blind man until Alex calls her name. The blind man catches Alex and tries to shoot, but his gun is empty. Alex pushes a shelf down on him, trapping him. He and Rocky run upstairs. Alex holds the door closed with a crowbar. He and Rocky try to open the door, only to find the dog has woken up and is ready to attack them. They run from the dog and trap it in a room. Unfortunately, the blind man has gotten out of the basement and he attacks Alex. He punches him multiple times in the face and appears to impale him with garden shears. He then finds Rocky and knocks her out too. Rocky wakes up in the basement, chained in the same spot as Cindy. She tells the blind man that this won't bring his daughter back. He says that's not entirely true. 
He impregnated Cindy to give him a child, to make up for the one she killed, and he would have let her go once she gave birth. With Cindy dead, his unborn child has died as well, and he holds Rocky accountable. He cuts open a hole in Rocky's pants and grabs a baster filled with his semen sample. He prepares to impregnate Rocky, but luckily, Alex has gotten up and grabbed a hammer. He whacks the blind man over the head and frees Rocky. They handcuff the man to a pole. She starts kicking the man and then stuffs the baster down his throat. They leave him alone and decide not to involve the cops since the man could easily tell the cops that Rocky and Alex broke in. The two head back upstairs to leave. They manage to open the front door, but the blind man has gotten up, and he shoots Alex dead. Rocky makes a run for it, just as the man lets the dog out. Rocky runs back to Money's car, and tries to make it in before the dog gets her, but she dropped her bag outside the car. Rocky opens the trunk to try, and trap the dog in there, so she can get out. Her plan works, and she goes outside to get the money, but the blind man comes out and knocks Rocky out again. The blind man drags Rocky back to his house to finish his job. A ladybug flies onto Rocky's hand, giving her a boost of confidence and hope. Rocky grabs the control to set off the security system, causing the alarm to distract the man. She grabs the crowbar and whacks the blind man over the head multiple times until he falls into the basement and has his gun go off, shooting him in the side. Rocky takes the money and leaves the house before the cops show up. Rocky is now with Diddy at the airport, ready to start their new lives. Rocky then sees a news report on TV, stating that the blind man was found alive, and that only two burglars were reported as breaking into his home, and that he killed both of them. Rocky becomes nervous and then takes Diddy with her, never to look back again.